everybody. Welcome back to Thin Line Defense. This is Joe, and today we're going to be looking at my first experience with 6mm ARC. I want to thank all of our Patreon supporter and everybody that subscribes, comments, likes, shares, does anything with any of our videos. I promise you that every single like, share, comment, it really means a lot to us, and it really helps out our channel. So thank you very much for that. So now let's talk about 6mm ARC. If you haven't seen my previous video, please check that out. I was shooting 224 Valkyrie. I really wanted that round to work. It didn't work for me. I moved over to 6mm ARC because I want a AR-15 that can shoot out to 1,000 yards accurately and sustain it. So I moved over into 6mm ARC. So let's get into this. This was the first time ever messing with a 6mm ARC. So in my previous video, I swapped out all the barrel and stuff. For this one, I wasn't sure on what magazine to use. So the casing for the 6mm ARC is based off of the 6.5 Grendel. So if you have 6.5 Grendel magazines, then it will definitely work for you. I don't have 6.5 Grendel, so I use my 224 Valkyrie, which is 6.8 SPC, I believe, followers in the magazine. They work fine, but to be honest, I never loaded up more than five rounds. So the jury's still out on what magazine work. Here's the round that I decided to go out and shoot. Uh, both of them are made by Hornady. One is the Hornady Match 6mm Arc 108 grain. And the other ones are the Hornady Black 6mm Arc 105 grain boat tail hollow points. So uh, I chose the two round because honestly, it's the only one that I could find, get, and the only thing that I could buy off the shelf. I shot this in December of 2020. Uh, so we all know how the ammo situation working there. I actually couldn't find any, any rounds online or in my local stores. I had to reach out to Jason within Line Defense. He actually found some in Washington at his local stores. Uh, it looks like we paid $24 a box for the black, and I think you know, $25 a box for the match. It's really good pricing for the times that we're in. I wanted to see if off-the-shelf ammo is any good for 6mm arc. So I went out to the range. The barrel that I purchased, it came with instruction on how to break in the barrel. What it wanted me to do is shoot one round, then clean the barrel with just a patch and solvent, and then a dry patch. I needed to do that 10 times. So that's shoot around, clean, shoot around, clean. 10 iterations. Then after that, shoot two rounds clean, shoot two round clean, shoot three round clean, shoot three round clean. All right, so I'm out here with a six millimeter arc. I'm shooting Hornady black ammo, and I'm just doing the barrel break in procedure. So shoot around, clean the barrel, cool the barrel, repeat. So that's what these are. This is a side adjustment. So I adjusted my sights left and down, um, hit that. Still doing break-in procedure, but I'm at the step where you get to shoot two rounds, and these were the two rounds. So, not too bad so far. We'll see. We'll see how the Hornady Black keeps going, and then I have some Hornady Match. I'm going to shoot at the top targets once I get the barrel broke in. So, I did the best that I could. I, I did do the break-in procedure because I don't know if break-in procedure work or not. That's up to interpretation or your personal thoughts, but I wanted to make sure that I did everything right to give six millimeter arc the best chance at working. I will say that something happened with the vine because through the, the first shots where I'm shooting one, cleaning one, the group actually started to tighten up. I was really lucky with my four shot able to get it that, that good on target. I used the 10 round for a little bit of side in and just, you know, breaking in the barrel and just getting familiar with the, the round, the recoil and getting my sights on. Okay, break in procedure is done. Sent multiple rounds with cleaning it in between, then groups of two, then groups of three with cleaning it in between. So barrel should be broken in, cooled off. Let's see what five rounds do. Now I will say that day to the range was not my best. I'm sure we've all had those days where we go to the range and no matter what we do, we just kind of don't shoot that great. That was me this day. Luckily, I brought along another shooter and he was having a heck of a day. I also let him shoot the weapon and you can see in the results that I was shooting like crud and he was shooting really well. Okay, so there the first string of five rounds, 100 yards, off the shelf Hornady Black six millimeter arc. Yeah, that's five rounds in there. That's definitely sub MOA at 100 yards. This is exactly what I wanted out of an AR 15 platform. This is what I thought 224 would be. It wasn't. I couldn't be more happy. 
All right, so I have to be honest today, I'm shooting like complete crud. That was Hornady Black with another shooter. This of me shooting the match. I was all over the place. That's me. Um, this was the match with the other shooter. It's at an angle, so you can't judge it by that. It's at an angle. I mean, that's sub MOA. This was me shooting the black, and I threw one. So, not too terrible, but yeah, I mean, the gun and the round are capable of sub MOA. That's definite. I just need to get better. I drank too many energy drinks, so I'm a little shaky. But there was no crazy flyers. It wasn't like the 224 where I could do a half MOA group and then one shot would be an inch or two away. There was nothing like that. Either I was shooting good or the other shooter was shooting good or I was shooting bad, but they're all right around where I want them to be. All right, so six millimeter arc went doing so well at 100. We decided to come out to 300. So let's see what both of the cartridges do. According to the app, the ballistic app, it's about one MOA at, or one mil at 300 yards. So we went out to 300 yards and we put, we both, uh, me and the other shooter, we both used our ballistic calculators. Uh, we put in the different round. I put in match, he put in black. We kind of went off of that. So both of them called for about 1.1 mil adjustment. So we went ahead and did that. It was high right. There was a wind coming from the left, moving to the right, and I didn't adjust for that. I wanted to see what it would do to the round at 300 yards with that wind. I don't know, if I had to guess, five, 10 mile an hour. Okay, so I'm definitely hitting high right. With the match ammo, I was aiming at this target, and I have a couple of holes here, and then some went off paper. With the black ammo, I was aiming at this target, and that's one, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, that's a, although a large group, pretty good group at 300 yards. Um, and I'm shooting like crud today. So let's see how the other shooter does. We ended up dropping it down a little bit, uh, two mil. Then you can see it's getting closer to the center target. Okay, so. Five rounds at 100, one, two, three, four, five. That was the uh, Hornady Black. And then one, two, three, four, and a flyer up here. But not too bad, 300, it's windy. We weren't really adjusting for wind much. So all in all, at my altitude at you know over 6,000 feet elevation, it looks like 0.9 mil is pretty good at uh, 300. And then you just got to adjust for win. I'm going to write it down in my log as about 0.8. I think 0.8 elevation up will be fine, which to me, a phenomenal, not even a mil at 300 yards. That's amazing. Uh, my scope is a cheaper scope, so it doesn't have a whole bunch of adjustment. And it also zooms in quite a bit. It's 32 or 34 power at the high end. So it really doesn't have a lot of adjustment. I'm glad that it was 0.1 mil. Uh, give me some adjustment for going out further. Uh, I think with this scope, I'm going to have to end up completely maxing it out to get to a thousand yard, maxing the scope out and using holdover. The gun itself operated phenomenally. It worked very well. Uh, no malfunction, no jam, no double feeds, no anything to speak of. So when whatever I loaded in that magazine, it shot through it with no drama and held the bolt to the rear when it was done. So that was all great. The round itself, I'm I'm extremely impressed. I was very skeptical after, you know, putting all my hopes in the 224 and that kind of not working out for me. So I was skeptical, especially with a new round with all the hype and everything else. I think that if we weren't in a pandemic where people could actually get ammo and barrels and firearms, that this would be taking off a lot more than it is. So I'm really glad that I got it. I can't wait to show you guys more and I'm really hopeful for what this gun can do out at distances. So that being said, let's talk about my way forward with six millimeter arc. I'm gonna keep it for right now. It's gonna stay on that gun. I'm gonna keep testing with it. But I was so impressed with the off the shelf ammunition that I went ahead and bought a set of dies for it. So I am gonna try some load development. I'm not the reloader of the group, Jason is, but I'm going to try some load development and see what I can do. I've watched some YouTube video and people are having really good results with CFE 223 powder. I know it's temperamental 
with the weather. So the true leaf development might have to wait until summer. So I did find a hundred rounds of Nosler one, I believe they're 105 grain. They might be 108, I forget, but they're over a hundred grain Nosler rounds that I went ahead and picked up and then I have the casing. So I'm gonna to try to do a ladder load. I'm gonna to try to see what this gun likes. I'm really glad that I did this. I'm really glad that I switched over. I wish I could get more off the shelf ammunition for it and give you guys more shooting. Stay tuned, hopefully it'll happen in the future. Gonna start loading up some rounds and I'm very hopeful for this round. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. And again, one more time, I wanna say thank you to everybody that likes, subscribes, comments, shares, and definitely our Patreons. You people are making us successful. We can't do this without you. So we're up to about 1,500 subscribers right now. It's been going up steadily over the past couple months, and that's all because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully it starts shooting better than that.